General Dynamics Corporation is an American aerospace and defense company formed by mergers and divestitures. It is the world's fifth largest defense contractor based on 2012 revenues. General Dynamics is headquartered in West Falls Church, Fairfax County, Virginia. The company has changed markedly in the post-Cold War era of defense consolidation. It has four main business segments, marine systems, combat systems, information systems and technology, and aerospace. Until 1993, when production was sold to Lockheed, General Dynamics' former Fort Worth division manufactured the Western world's most produced jet fighter, the F-16 Fighting Falcon. In 1999, the company re-entered the airframe business with its purchase of Gulfstream Aerospace. History Electric Boat General Dynamics traces its ancestry to John Philip Holland's Holland Torpedo Boat Company. This company was responsible for developing the U.S. Navy's first submarines built at Lewis Nixon's Crescent Shipyard, located in Elizabethport, New Jersey. The revolutionary submarine boat Holland 6 was built there, its keel being laid down in 1896. Crescent Superintendent and Naval Architect, Arthur Leopold Bush, supervised the construction of this submarine. After being launched on May 17, 1897, it was eventually purchased by the Navy and renamed USS Holland. The Holland was officially commissioned on October 12, 1900 and became the United States Navy's first submarine, later known as SS-1. The Navy placed an order for more submarines, which were developed in rapid succession and were assembled at two different locations on both coasts. These submarines were known as the A-Class or Radar class and became America's first fleet of underwater craft at the beginning of the 20th century. Due to the lengthy and expensive process of introducing the world's first practical submarines, Holland, short on funds, had to part with his company and sell his interest to financier Isaac Leopold Rice, renaming the new firm as the Electric Boat Company on February 7, 1899. Holland effectively lost control of the company and found himself earning a salary of $90 a week as chief engineer, while the company he founded was selling submarines for $300,000 each. Holland resigned from the company effective April 1904. Rice became Electric Boat's first president, remaining there from that time until 1915 when he stepped down just prior to his death on November 2, 1915. Electric Boat gained a reputation for unscrupulous arms dealing in 1904 May, when it sold submarines to Japan's Imperial Japanese Navy and Russia's Imperial Russian Navy, who were then at war. Holland submarines were also sold to the British Royal Navy through the English armaments company Vickers, and to the Dutch to serve in the Royal Netherlands Navy. The new pioneering craft developed by the company was now legitimized as genuine naval weapons by the world's most powerful navies. In the post-World War II wind down, Electric Boat was cash flush but lacking in work, with its workforce shrinking from 13,000 to 4,000 by 1946. Hoping to diversify, the President and Chief Executive Officer, John J. Hopkins, started looking for companies that would fit into Electric Boat's market. Canada Purchase Hopkins quickly found that Canada, owned by the Canadian government, was suffering from similar post-war malaise and was up for sale. Hopkins bought the company for $10 million in 1946. Even by the Canadian government's calculations, the factory alone was worth more than $22 million, excluding the value of the remaining contracts for planes or spare parts. When Electric Boat purchased Canada, its production line and inventory systems were in disorder. Hopkins hired Canadian-born mass production specialist H. Oliver West to take over the president's role and return Canada to profitability. Shortly after the takeover, Canada began delivering its new Canada North Star, and was able to deliver aircraft to Trans-Canada Airlines, Canadian Pacific Airlines and British Overseas Airways Corporation well in advance of their contracted delivery times. As defence spending increased with the onset of the Cold War, Canada would go on to win many Canadian military contracts for the Royal Canadian Air Force, and became a major aerospace company. These included Canada T-33 Trainer, the Canada Argus Long Range Maritime Reconnaissance and Transport Aircraft, 
and the Canada F-86 Sabre. Between 1950 and 1958, 1,815 Sabres were built. Canada also produced 200 CF-104 Starfighter supersonic fighter aircraft, a licensed-built version of the Lockheed F-104. In 1976 Canada was sold back to the Canadian government, which sold it to Bombardier Incorporated in 1986. General Dynamics emerges, as the aircraft production at Canada became increasingly important to the company, Hopkins argued that the name Electric Boat was no longer appropriate. On April 24, 1952, Electric Boat was reorganized as General Dynamics. General Dynamics was still flush with cash after the Canada purchase, and, given the success of that company, it continued to look for new aviation purchases. In March 1953 it purchased Convert from the Atlas Group. The sale was approved by government oversight with the proviso that General Dynamics would continue to operate out of Air Force Plant 4 in Fort Worth, Texas. This factory was set up in order to spread out strategic aircraft production and rent it to Convert during the war to produce B-24 Liberator bombers. Over time, the Fort Worth plant would become Convair's major production center. As was the case with Canada, Convair worked as an independent division within the General Dynamics umbrella. Over the next decade the company introduced the F-106 Delta Dart Interceptor, the B-58 Hustler and the Convair 880 and 990 airliners. Convair also introduced the first U.S. operational intercontinental ballistic missile, the Atlas. Management churn, Hopkins fell seriously ill during 1957, and was eventually replaced by Frank Pace later that year. Meanwhile, John Nash succeeded Joseph McNani as president of Convair. Henry Crown became the company's largest shareholder, and merged his material service corporation with GD in 1959. Nash left in May 1961, taking most of Convair's top people with him. GD subsequently reorganized into Eastern Group in New York and Western Group in San Diego, California, with the latter taking over all of the aerospace activities and dropping the Convair brand name from its aircraft in the process. Frank Pace retired under pressure in 1962 and Roger Lewis, former Assistant Secretary of the Air Force and Pan American Airways CEO was brought in as the new CEO. The company recovered then fell back into the same struggles. In 1971, the board brought in Dave Lewis as chairman and CEO. At the time he was president of McDonnell Douglas. Dave Lewis served until his retirement in 1985. Aviation Powerhouse During the early 1960s the company bid on the United States Air Force's TFX project for a new low-level penetrator. Robert McNamara, newly installed as the Secretary of Defense forced a merger of the TFX with U.S. Navy plans for a new long-range fleet defender aircraft. In order to bid on a naval version successfully, GD partnered with Grumman, who would build a customized version for aircraft carrier duties. After four rounds of bids and changes, the GD Grumman team finally won the contract over a Boeing submission. The F-111 first flew in December 1964. The F-111B flew in May 1965, but the Navy said that it was too heavy for use on aircraft carriers. With an unacceptable Navy version, estimates for 2,400 F-111s, including exports, were sharply reduced, but GD still managed to make a $300 million profit on the project. Grumman went on to build the F-14 Tomcat, an aircraft that used many of the innovations of the F-111, but designed solely as a carrier-borne fighter. Reorganization In May 1965, GD reorganized into 12 operating divisions based on product lines. The board decided to build all future planes in Fort Worth, ending plane production at San Diego, but continuing with space and missile development there. In October 1970, Roger Lewis left and David S. Lewis from McDonnell Douglas was named CEO. Lewis required that the company headquarters move to St. Louis, Missouri, which occurred in February 1971. F-16 success In 1972, GD bid on the USAF's lightweight fighter project. GD and Northrop were awarded prototype contracts. GD, whose F-111 program was winding down, 
desperately needed a new aircraft contract. It organized its own Skunk Works group, the Advanced Concepts Laboratory, and responded with a new aircraft design that incorporated more modern equipment than the Northrop contender, mainly fly-by-wire flight controls. GD's YF-16 first flew in January 1974, and proved to have slightly better performance than the YF-17 in head-to-head -head testing. It entered production as the F-16 in January 1975 with an initial order of 650 and a total order of 1,388. The F-16 also won contracts worldwide, beating the F-17 in foreign competition as well. F-16 orders eventually totaled more than 4,000, making it the largest and most successful program for GD, and one of the most successful Western military projects since World War II. Land Systems Focus, in 1976, General Dynamics sold the struggling Canada back to the Canadian government for $38 million. By 1984, General Dynamics had four divisions, Convair in San Diego, General Dynamics Fort Worth, General Dynamics Pomona, and General Dynamics Electronics. In 1985 a further reorganization created the Space Systems Division from the Convair Space Division. In 1985, GD also acquired Cessna. In 1986 the Pomona division was split up, creating the Valley Systems Division. Valley Systems produced the Stinger surface-to-air missile and the rolling airframe missile. Both units were recombined into one entity in 1992. Henry Crown, still GD's largest shareholder, died on August 15, 1990. Following this, the company started to rapidly divest its underperforming divisions under CEO William Anders. Cessna was resold to Textron in January 1992, the San Diego and Pomona missile production units to General Motors Hughes Aerospace in May 1992, the Fort Worth aircraft production to Lockheed in March 1993, and its Space Systems Division to Martin Marietta in 1994. The remaining Convair aircraft structure unit was sold to McDonnell Douglas in 1994. The remains of the Convair division were simply closed in 1996. GD's exit from the aviation world was short-lived, and in 1999 the company acquired Gulfstream Aerospace. The Pomona operation was closed shortly after its sale to Hughes Aircraft. Having divested itself of its aviation holdings, GD concentrated on land and sea products. GD purchased Chrysler's defense divisions in 1982, renaming them General Dynamics Land Systems. In 2003 it purchased the defense divisions of General Motors as well. It is now a major supplier of armored vehicles of all types, including the M1 Abrams, LAV-25, Stryker, and a wide variety of vehicles based on these chassis. General Dynamics Land Systems was hurt by the cancellation of the U.S. Army's Future Combat Systems Program and the loss in the MRAP All-Terrain Vehicle Competition. Government Lawsuit and Settlement On August 19, 2008, GD agreed to pay $4 million to settle a lawsuit brought by the U.S. government claiming a GD unit fraudulently billed the government for defectively manufactured parts used in U.S. military aircraft and submarines. The U.S. alleged that from September 2001 to August 2003 GD defectively manufactured or failed to test parts used in U.S. military aircraft, such as the C-141 Starlifter transport plane. The GD unit involved, based in Glen Cove, New York, closed in 2004. Timeline, Electric Boat was established in 1899. Divestitures, 1967, General Atomics to Gulf Oil. 1976, Canada sold back to the Canadian government. 1981, following expropriation legislation passed by the government of the province of Quebec, General Dynamics Canadian subsidiary sold its 54.6% controlling interest in Asbestos Corporation Limited to the Quebec government-owned corporation, Socia Copyright Ta Copyright Nationale de l'Amiente. 1991, Data Systems Division sold to Computer Sciences Corporation, 1992, Tactical Missiles Division to Hughes Aircraft Company, 1992, Cessna to Textron, 1992, Electronics Division sold to Carlyle Group of Washington, D.C. and renamed GDE Systems, 1993, 
Fort Worth Division, a producer of fixed-wing military aircraft, to Lockheed. 1993, Space Systems Division to Martin Marietta. 1994, Convair's Aerostructures Unit to McDonnell Douglas. 2006, Material Service to Hansen. 2007, Freeman United Coal Mining Company sold to Springfield Coal Company for an undisclosed amount. 2010, GD Advanced Information Systems Spacecraft Division to Orbital Sciences, Company Outline, Aircraft Systems, General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark, General Dynamics Grumman F-111B, General Dynamics F-111C, General Dynamics F-111K, General Dynamics Grumman EF-111A Raven. General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, General Dynamics F-16 Vista, General Dynamics F-16 XL, General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon Variants. Martin General Dynamics RB-57 F Canberra, Marine Systems, American Overseas Marine Corporation, Bath Iron Works, Electric Boat, National Steel and Shipbuilding Company, Quincy Shipbuilding Division, Missile Systems, RIM-24 Tata, FIM-43 Red Eye, MIM-46 Mauler, RIM-66 Standard, AGM-78 Standard Arm, FIM-92 Stinger, AIM-97 Seek Bat, RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile, AGM-129 ACM, Tomahawk, BGM-109G Ground Launched Cruise Missile. Combat Systems General Dynamics Land Systems General Dynamics Robotic Systems Autonomous Navigation System, Mobile Detection and Assessment Response System, Unmanned Surface Vehicle, Expeditionary Tank, M1 Series Abrams Main Battle Tank, Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle, Heavy Assault Bridge Program, Striker Armored Combat Vehicle, Crusader Self-Propelled Howitzer, General Dynamics Armament and Technical Products GAU-17, GAU-19, General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, General Dynamics European Land Combat Systems European Land Systems Escort AFV MOWAG Corporation Mobag Piranha Santa Barbara System as Leopard 2E, Escort AFV Information Systems and Technology Information Systems and Technology represent 34% of the company's revenue. General Dynamics Advanced Information Systems General Dynamics C4 Systems Sector Copyright Run Edge, the first NSA certified smartphone, General Dynamics Satcom Technologies, a subsidiary of GDC4S. General Dynamics Information Technology, General Dynamics Wireless Services. General Dynamics United Kingdom, Spacecraft, Atlas, Atlas EF, Atlas G, Atlas H, Atlas SLV3, Atlas Ichna. Nexus Space Launch Vehicle, Aerospace. Gulfstream Aerospace, Jet Aviation, Corporate Governance, current members of the Board of Directors of General Dynamics are, Mary Barra, Nicholas Cabreja, James Crown, William Fricks, Paul Kaminsky, John Keane, Lester Lyles, James N. Mattis, Fabi Novikovic, William A. Osborne, Laura J. Schumacher and Robert Wormsley. Financials, General Dynamics has about $30 billion in sales, primarily military but also civilian with its Gulfstream Aerospace Unit and conventional shipbuilding and repair with its National Steel and Shipbuilding subsidiary. In 2004 General Dynamics bid for the UK company Alvis Vickers, the leading British manufacturer of armoured vehicles. In March the board of Alvis Vickers voted in favour of the A309 million pounds takeover. However at the last minute BAE Systems offered A355 million pounds for the company in what was seen as a move to keep General Dynamics out of its backyard. This deal was finalized in June 2004. General Dynamics has tried to acquire Newport News shipbuilding but been blocked by regulators and competitors, as this would make General Dynamics the sole manufacturer of nuclear-powered ships in the United States. Controlled subsidiaries of the corporation are donors to the Canadian Defence and Foreign Affairs Institute. See also Top 100 US Federal Contractors $16.4 billion in FY 2009, References, Footnotes, Sources, External links, General Dynamics Corporation website, 
Dells.com, General Dynamics European Land Systems Site, General Dynamics Corporation Company Profile on Yahoo. Finance, General Dynamics Profile on Corpoch.org.